you may find a common dividing line about here in the middle of our custom data service. We often use signals to the left of this line and RxJS to the right. This isn't a hard and fast rule, but it's becoming a common practice. RxJS and observables are our go-to for asynchronous operations, such as HTTP requests, so our data service uses observables to issue HTTP requests and return the responses. We leverage the large set of observable operators. We modify, filter, merge, and process data as needed for our application. And we use a subject for reacting to user actions, especially when we need every notification. We then create a signal from that observable. Signals provide powerful yet painless techniques for managing state in the data service. The components access those signals, and the templates read the signals from the component. This approach leverages the best features of signals, reactivity with computed signals, and improved change detection in the template. The template tracks signals and re-renders when the signal changes minimizing the amount of unnecessary re-rendering and improving performance. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.